anyway, can I give you a warm welcome on behalf of the BSD? And um, as you know, everybody, uh, David um, is based in Christchurch in New Zealand. And uh, could I ask you to introduce yourself, David, and tell us what you're going to talk about, please? Well, I'm David Willox uh, of Christchurch, but I started off as uh, magnetic healing. That's where I really started off about 12, 15 years ago. And then I decided to um, use the pendulum like to, to, to do dousing. Um, and it's, and but with me, I mean, I always tell people if they're trying to get the yes or no, because that's the first thing I teach them to do. And um, they're struggling away. I said, well, I took three months before I could get it going right. So, And then it's just gone from there. I belong to the um, New South Wales, the Sydney uh, Dowsing Society, uh, because we've got our grandchildren are in Sydney. So... Um, uh, that, that that's where I'm uh, that's where I'm a member of so. and uh, I do oh, I remember the uh, American Society too because there's so much information comes out of there as what comes out of uh, the British Society so yeah so that's uh, and I basically do energy healing that's basically what I do I don't uh, and don't worry too much about what's wrong with a person. I just, um, I feel the be the thing to do is to, the, I feel is to look at a person or and look at them as if they're healed. Uh, don't worry about what's wrong. And the other thing is to hopefully the person will uh, look at you as somebody who's going to help them. I don't do the healing myself. It's all done by the divine spirit, and uh, and, and that's yeah, that's basically what I do. Here. I'll I'll explain a few things as we go through as to what I do. So. Now, did you mention um, you, you 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 you'd like people to have a pencil and paper ready? Oh, uh, yeah, it just yeah, well, I'll do that now. Yes, if you just got a pencil and paper ready, they're just the, these are the things that I I sort of uh, work by. Um, first of all, uh, um, Raymond Grace is the one I sort of look towards, uh, mainly because he's to me he's straight up and down, and it's you know it, and um, I have the same thoughts as him because I. I I don't let the thought stop me from doing anything because uh, I think the the more you like oh, the other one, energy follows thought, of course. So <laughs> that's uh, so, and, and you, you just you just let the thing happen. You don't say, "Oh, I, I mightn't be able to do this." And it's all of the, it's it's a command. But Raymond Gross has got a book. It's a PDF on the computer. Techniques that work for me. So if you just write that down. And then the other one is uh, healing. Uh, it's just a saying that if you if you say this, if you're sending a healing to anybody, just the healing presence of spirit is in then the person's name or the where, or the part of the body you're healing or anything like that. And then now, and that's uh, the healing presence of spirit is in person's name or body part, whatever it is now. And then the other one I use is uh, San Giovanni. San Giovanni is an Indian uh, website. And uh, a, a lot of I'll, sh I'll sh I've got a combination sheets here that I use and uh, use them for healing too. So, yeah. Could you say that again, uh, David? San Giovanni, S A N J E E V I N I. Just Google that, and it'll all come up.
Also, there's a list of references in the book, isn't there? All of that's in there on the website. Yeah. Yes, um, I'll, I'll just make the, the comment that this wouldn't have happened today if it hadn't been for Susie. So, uh, you know, I mean, Susie came out here and somehow we got together and we wrote a book and uh, she took my information and she's a book publisher and she took my information and made it into a book form. So, and I've got to say really that each time I read it, they say, oh, did I say that? Or does it, is that, how? yeah. So, so uh, you know, it's quite good to just go through, oh, yes, it could, I could use that or anything. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So if anyone's got a book in mind, go and see Susie. <laughs> yeah. I, I clear I clear land um, demons um, raise energy levels or clear um, blockage uh, mostly what I do is with somebody first of all I remove the blockage and I don't know if you, oh, you you'll be able to see this yeah, that's the San Giovanni blockages. So, first of all, you just put somebody's name. All you do is write a piece, person's name on a piece of paper, and put them on the center of that circle. And then that's the blockages. And you can what you do is you just have your pendulum over the top of the. Just put your pendulum over the top of the person's name. And the pendulum will naturally go in the anti-clockwise, and then it, it will um, then it will stop, and that means it's done. And then the next thing I have a oh this is a it's basically like this that, that it's like if you have a look in the back of the book there's rosettes like this but they've got eight um, uh, circles around the outside, and this one's got sixteen. So and I just load energies on top of that to send to the people. And that's there's there's one of them there. That's that's one that's done. Um, and yeah. Here's a list of about a hundred people that I get uh, each week. Oh yes it is weekly. And these are all wanting different things done to me. So I just put them on the blockage, on the blockage, there, like that. And then after that, I just transfer them there onto the uh, this side, the uh, energy, go, energy's going into them. Um, I've never really looked at what they do, but some, uh, here's damaged spine, uh, joy, happiness, Bring entire body back to health. They're, they're all they're all different things. A lot of these people have been on this healing list for quite a while, but um, uh, I'm more of like I want want to go and heal people before uh, just just heal them the once, sorry, or twice, three times, and hopefully that's uh, that's what I do. You know, rather than have people coming all the time, uh, that's why it's a hobby. Yeah. Right. Now, oh, this is just a person. That's the, that's the front. That's the back. And I, I use this. This is what I use for distant healing. If I'm if I'm healing anybody, I, I'll check the chakras first. Um. Just by the crown, third eye. If you see the my pendulum, my pendulum's going in different uh, opposite directions with each chakra. Crown, third eye, throat, heart, and and that's how I check them. And when when I have it going, th three of them going in the same direction, I know it's the middle one that needs the clearing. 
and and if you and then you can come down um, here and, and just you know the person's name that's that's already got registered in your head in your head and you just come down and say there's a problem here now if you see my left hand left finger I mean sorry my first finger you see my first finger and with males, that's your negative finger. If you put the pendulum out here, that's negative, positive, negative. So you put the negative is drawing the energy out. And then you change, just change. I just change fingers. Don't ask the pendulum anything. It's going back in. That's sending the energy back in. So that's what you can do. Uh, like you can put your finger here and say, is there a problem above the navel? And it says, so it says no. And then up here, you say, is there a problem below the navel? Yes. So you look for a problem there. So, yeah. So that's what I do and looking for them. And, and then you can do the energy. So, you know, the once you get the, Feel the energies of the person and clear them, clear them. Then you go back to see if it's clear. If it's clear, it's, yeah, it's good. So that's what that one is. Now, this is what I would do if a, a person's going to heal, because I'll just go through, um, I'll through this and then I'm, I'll do a, a, a cancer cure, uh, but that and that's for the whole group. But if anybody doesn't want to be cured or or they don't believe in it, whatever, please just cross your ankles and cross and fold your arms because then that will stop any energy coming to you. So if you're doing any energy work, make sure that people have their feet firmly on the ground, uh, uncrossed and uh, and their hands not not crossed, so not folded. Um, you do your yes or no. You make sure it's working right, and then you you're positive or negative, which is just my yes or no anyway. Uh, the first one I look at is uh, geopathic stress. Now, um, I can do a person's house. I can go up here, geopathic stress, geopathic stress, geopathic stress, and uh, geopathic stress, and it will just go, right, geopathic stress, yeah, and then along here, geopathic stress. Yeah, the, the person's house might, need, might doesn't look even like this, you know, it might be on angles and all sorts, but that's within the perimeter. The house is within the perimeter. And then I, I find it, and the other one is on the, um, bed. Uh, oh, we'll use this one because the beds, the beds. It's most important that the bed is clear of geopathic stress because what's happening is your immune system's having issues with this geopathic stress and it's not restoring your body through the night when you, when you're sleeping, uh, which doesn't give you any disease, but it leads to it because your body's not able to adjust, and then you just go geopathic stress and. And there might be a line going across here and a, another one there. And then there might be geopathic stress here, uh, up, up there. So you know there's there and there are the, as, is the geopathic stress. And, and well, what I, I've, I, when I started off clearing this, I used copper wires out in the sections, you know, around, dig them into the garden. Then I put, we chips, we pieces of copper wire, like I put one there and I put one there and stick it there on a, on a piece like this. And that, that cleared it, but I don't know, but um, I, I just put my hand on there now, clear all geopathic stress from this. We'll do it for the house. Clear all geopathic stress from this house now. And it goes in the negative. And then I just transmute all anything that's left, transmute all geopathic stress. Um, 
into the uh, power, uh, power energies and love. Always love. So that's how I would clear. That's how I would clear a house. Uh, the, then the demons, the demons of the house, or the so you've got demons, you've got negative energies, entities, non-beneficial spirits. And that's where that booklet of uh, Raymond Grace is, is real good because have a read through it and it's all different ways of cl uh, clearing different uh, situations. Uh, water, demons, uh, and uh, raising energies. Uh, and that's, yeah, so I would, do, I would do that on the house and the, uh, and uh, the person, now the person, uh, right, right, so yes, yeah, so we'll, we do the house, the negative energies, entities, non beneficial spirits of the house. But before we come to the person, um, now we've got to ask the question Does this person want to be healed? Yeah. If it says no, don't. Um, it's just that yourself, your your own. This, if they don't want to be healed, that's fair enough. But don't take it any further than that because just nothing's going to happen because the energies are not going to work between the two of them. And then, if they want to be healed, I ask for the life force. Now, the life force. Is this person's life force one hundred percent? And it tells me no, it's not. I wanted it one hundred percent. So I then go back to conception. Does this person's life force at conception one hundred percent? And it tells me yes. And then, uh, if it tells me no, then I go back, is it one past life ago, two past lives ago, three past lives ago, that it was 100%. And they, and it say, so it says two past lives ago. So that's okay. Something's happened in between the conception and the two past lives ago. That's the, um, then we just bring the life force from two past lives ago through to the present day. And then you ask, is this person's life force 100%? And it'll tell you yes. Well, or if it tells you yes, you know you've done the job. Um, any, and then we take conception, and it says, uh, is this person's life force at conception 100%? Yes. Yeah, at birth, 100%. Yes. Uh, Five-year-old? 10 year old, 15, and say, say to 15, it says, uh, no. And then you go back 14 year old, 13 year old, 12 year old. And it tells me 12 year old, it was 100%. So then you bring that life force up from when it was 12 year old up to the present day. And then you check. Is this person's life force 100%? Yes. So you know you've done that. Energy vibration levels, we were talking before. Uh, energy vibration levels, you program your um, pendulum. I say, I, I program, it's all that. No, I say the, all the energy vibration levels of all the land and the South Island of New Zealand is 30,000. And you can program your um, pendulum to do that. And so once is the energy vibration levels of all the land in the South Island of New Zealand, 30,000. Uh, so then you've got a, a marker to go to. So then you ask, is this person's energy vibration levels 30,000 or more? And they say, no. Is it 20,000 or more? No. Is it 10,000 or more? Yes. And then that's where the blockages come in. Do we then use the blockages again? The, uh, 
It's that one. Yeah. Put them on the blockages and that goes back. And when it stops, put them on the I I, I put them on this this one here. And uh, um and and I just keep doing that till it till it stops, till the blockages stop. So you stop re removing the blockages. Yeah. Like with a cancer treatment, um, you spin out unwanted energy. That's anti-clockwise. <coughs> with me, it is. Now fill that void with forgiveness of self, greatness, gratefulness, gratitude, and experience of cancer. And you're spinning that. You're spinning positive energy in. Let's bring it out. Now I'm just got, I'm just written out a, a a cancer one here, and what you'll find out when I when I'm talking about this, it's always a command. It's like that uh, the healing presence of spirit is in so and so now, so that you want a it's a command that it's going to happen. Now you say, oh well, it it just it'll happen if you command it, and then we just bind and cast out the spirit of cancer. That's the first thing we do. This is for the group. Bind out. Bind and cast out the spirit of cancer. And it's going in the negative. See? Drawing it out. Curse. Curse the seed root. Oh, sorry. Curse the seed root and cells of the cancer. We do that again in the negative. Yeah. Lay the hands on the affected area, commanding that's we do that on that piece of paper I showed you. Um commanding every cancer cell in the body to die. All we're doing is energy follows thought. That's all we're doing. Now, now you command the bone marrow to produce pure, healthy blood. Now we're going in the positive, you see, because we're putting the energies back in. Command healing to all organs and tissues affected and restoration of parts where necessary. Still in the positive. Command the body's defensive killer cells to multiply and attack all cancer cells. So that's basically, you just go through that. Uh, yeah, energy follows th thought. Everything in this world was first a thought before it came a product. Before a table was made, someone had to think about cutting down a tree. Pendulum is only the indicator. It tells you when the energy has stopped flowing. It is not a cure. So, you know, every t when you pull out your pendulum in public, people go, ooh, ooh, <laughs> what's going on here? But yeah, that's what it is. Well, don't use the front of your brain, which I said before, because you're, you're preempting what the um, answer is going to be. Short yes or no questions, and send the healing through you, not from you. Let the energy flow through your crown chakra and out through your throat or the heart. Do not use the solar plex or the sacral, because uh, in, if any energy comes back to you and it comes in there, it's very hard to remove. Yeah, they hold negative energies from other people and can make you very ill. Let the mind do the healing. Person, person receiving the healing, that's let them just believe that the healing is happening. And it, and it will happen. Eat healthy food, of course, and balance chakras. 
And the other one is always take a pendulum with you wherever you go and practice, practice, practice. Uh, keep yourself clear, well hydrated. Uh, oh, compatibility of your light team and the client's light team. That's your angels and stuff. But I've got a story on angels. If you later on in the question, someone wants to ask me, I'll tell you. But, um, protection call on your spirit guides. Yeah, does the person want, oh, that's. Yeah. That's and that's how I do a, a, a healing. So, so really, you know, someone gives sends me a um, uh, once to be healed. First of all, they go on the blockages. That's the first thing, and then they go uh, elsewhere. So, yeah. So that's my healing process. Um. Oh, oh that, yeah. That's the book from Raymond Grace. That's that's what it there. Yeah. Just get it and print it out. And we talked about San Giovanni before. Um, uh, here. This is a combinations. Now we'll go to. Combination number 13, colds and sinuses. This, this, this is combination. Oh, I'll put it around this way. Combination number 30. Now, what, what I've done, I've got a whole lot of these. About, there's about 70 different combinations. And I've had these combinations that I just put this. This here was put on there. And then the. Just let it load into the into the turmeric. That one has a bit. And all I did was put my uh, pendulum on the top, and then it, once it, once the pendulum stopped, it told me it was loaded. And I've had these for over a year, I suppose. And then I just checked them the other day. It, you just put them back on there and then put your pendulum across the top here. And then if it, if it's not going in the positive, that means it's still fully loaded. So that's still got the uh, sinus and cold problems combination. So that if anybody... Um, then this is all San, San Giovanni too. This is the card for multiplication, broadcasting, of San Giovanni's, San Giovanni's. So, if you wanted to send a a, um, a healing to a person, but like this is already loaded, so I just pick it out of the rack and I put it there, and then I put the person's a piece of paper with the person's name on it, even just the first name, just on there, and that will send it. Then, then you just put your pendulum over the person's name and it'll go in the um, positive until it stops. You see, and then you know that it's, uh, the healing's done. I mean, and that can stay on there all the time if you like, but it's best to just send the healing, which would only take you 30 seconds or so. Oh, no, a minute and a half, two minutes, three minutes. Uh, but then you want to break it. You can leave the person's name there and then take this off and then put that back and then later on and then it does, it does the healing again. So yes, that's the that's the San Giovanni uh, one. These, these are these are different. That's fourteen. So what is it? Uh, oh, constipation combination. So so that's. Uh, that's the San Giovanni. Um, the the site's great. There's I've, somebody downloaded it the other day. The buckets of stuff. There's a booklet out, and yeah, that's the healing. That's the healing one there. And that, these are all different combinations. 
and you can also get just an ordinary like uh what's this one fear what's this one for uh anorexic yeah this is fear and anorexic loss of appetite see those two uh, the combinations for that and that one there is a uh, uh what, what do they call it uh, yeah whole body yeah it's colored blues and stuff. So, you know, I mean, it, it would be a thing you would, you could make up something and put hang, hang a necklace and put that around your neck. So that's those ones. Yeah. Um, oh, this is a pro. Uh, Prime causes, the prime cause and prevention of disease. Now, this is Otto Warburg. I mean, this is what, 1920s or something? You've got to make. Um, it's, you know, I mean, this has been around for a long time. And I find that anything in the mid 1900s is, is a good reference for anything to look at. And this is just oxygen depletion. That's basically what he's talking about. Keep the oxygen levels up to yourself. Um, this here is an adaption of uh, Walt Woods. This is um, Raymond Grace. Now he had this. That that's the chart there, and that's basically all you would need for a chart. But I've gone and put these things in. This is. Uh, seat of disorder and you just put your pencil in here and it will go around teeth tongue uh male organs urine uh, and and it'll find out but if you're ever making up these charts you always have other in there because what happens is it mightn't be in this chart so it will go to other and then you'd know you had to look somewhere else um this is Percentage, I think it is around the outside here. These are your chakras. So if you want to check, you just come here and check your chuck. This is this this is in the book. Um, negative energies, entities, non-beneficial spirits, demons, others. That's the same there. And this is the uh, when I was talking about your energy vibration levels. There's thirty thousand there, and then you just go. I oh, what. This person's energy vibration levels is at 10,000 uh, or no, please give me person's energy vibration levels and it might go to 10,000, it might even go to 40,000. Mm. So that's in the book. And how are we going now? <laughs> now, this, this here is. A block of land on the west coast and this person wants to build a house thinking about it building a house here so i just do it like i was doing the geopathic stress with with the house and i just do the uh negative energies or ba bad streams you you cut your thought in your head and you just and then i think there's a line going through here i haven't I checked it just on a piece of paper like I showed you with the house before. And now I'm going to do this one to uh, find out where the stream is, but I think there might be one running through there. So so that's, you just, all you're doing is just getting a photo. This is just a Google photo and you're, you're just checking off that. So that this is the, they're both the same. This is a big. Uh, this is a bigger area of that. That's that's just that spot there. That is that spot there. Yeah. So. How would you do that with the pendulum, David? Like, how would you check it? Could you show us? Right. Oh. Oh. Well. Oh, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Um. All right. Uh, underground stream. What I would do for that, I'm doing. I would go up the left side. If I was looking for gold or oil or potable water, like like for a for a, to drill a well, it's potable water. This is just a stream here because uh, 
I don't think you'd really want it running underneath the house. Um, show me a stream. Pendulum, show me a stream. Yeah, I get the feeling. See, I get the feeling in my fingers first. That's what I use in my this finger. And there, you see. Because I'm, while I'm working on this here, I'm working out to my right all the time. So if you're looking for gold, there's a gold here. If there's gold here, I'll have to go and buy the place. Mm -hmm. No, there's no gold. So, um, is there uh, underground water? Underground water. See there, underground water, underground water. You check, go right through. And then you just go underground water. Uh, oh, yeah, underground water. Up to there. Now, this is why I'm talking about double checking. So you're coming back the other way. So that's there. So that's up there. Then you come back here. Now, you, you know, I, I came up to here. Underground water. Yeah. Underground water. Coming back the other way. See, it's in the same place. So you know that there's something going on underneath there. I mean, if you really look at the land, it looks like a wee bit of a dip there anyway. So um, it could be. Uh, uh, that could give you an indication anyway. Uh, the other one, oh, you're looking for potable water. Um, right, you want, a, you want potable water and you want it flowing at, 10 gallons a minute, so, so you go up here, potable water, 10 gallons float, 10 gallons a minute, this one there, potable water, float, 10 gallons a minute. And you go potable water, flowing at 10 gallons a minute. So you know, that in, somewhere in there, like I okay, got it here and I got it there. So it's somewhere in there that there's um, this potable water. That potable water is drinking water. There's plenty of other water underneath, but you want the drinking water. Yeah, yeah. So that's about me. Um, That's the, the these crystals. Look, look, if you just have a look at them, they're not, you know, they're just little little things. But um, it's the energy vibration. That, uh, this is yeah, it's the energy vibration levels of these crystals. Uh, One point six billion, and it gives me a yes. Now, how I. I came to the and this this is something you can try with your your um crystals or uh you know, get get stones that will, will hold good energy will hold the energy but i just raised the energy line that that went up to about oh, 800 million that's and it's now as this 1.6 billion. Is it 3.2 billion? No. This one 3.2 billion. No. Now, right. Now, I started. Start, you can start these off at any anything you like. You can do this yourself. Um. And what you do is you take your pendulum and hold it over your hand. At, and see, that's my that's my negative. Uh, that's that's the chakra, negative chakra. So I turn this hand over, and it stops. See, and it goes in the positive. So you've got the positive in the back. But if you want to put energy into stones, you must uh, you must put it. You put the energy, put the stones on the negative side. 
and hold it, hold it. And say, just tell it that you're going to double the energy vibration levels of that stone. And that's, I, I watched I watched a person do it and I thought, oh, gee, that's all right. So I had a go at it too and I, and I could do it the same. But what you've got to do uh, with women are uh, wired different to men. We're like, this is my negative side. That's my negative. That's man. The woman, a negative right. So they hold it in their right hand. And just say, double the energy vibration level of these stones. I, what I did, I actually raised the energy vibration levels of the stamp with the stuff I've got here. And, and then I doubled it. So that's how I got the 1.6 billion because it's, um, it, I, I was able to bring them up to 800,000 before I started doing this. See, so men in the left hand, you hold your pendulum above your, above your, if you're right handed with the pendulum, just hold it above and that goes in the negative C. So you know that if, the, if like a, a woman was right-handed and she held her hand there and it went in the, in the positive, she would know that her negative hand was the one she was holding. And then the other one is, I don't know, this is something you can try yourselves. Just hold the crystals in your hand and just see how you just see how, see how your dousing goes and, and what is this oh, okay can't, can't see this now if you really want to take up dousing these are the only things you, you need one this one here is dental floss and this one here is blue tag Is the blue tech. Now, somebody said to me oh, that all you need is dental floss and blue tech to do, make the pendulum. So I'll just put that on. Put that on the end of it. This is yeah, this is one of the best pendulums you'll ever get uh, because it's neutral. Pendulum, please give me a yes. Pendulum, give me a no. Pendulum, give me a million bucks. No, oh, thank you. I'll take it then. So that's uh, yeah, that's about me, I think. Uh, Richard, so yeah. Can we ask questions at this point? Yes, go for it. Uh, so you you quoted a lot of numbers there regarding the energy value of the crystals or whatever. Do you just consider you're talking about units of energy? Yeah. Well, what you've got to do is you've got to program your you you program yourself to the energies. You um because you've got to have a number you see to work from. Sure. Uh -huh. So that's that. Yeah. But that's yeah. I mean, that's not the true number. You you could the other thing you could do is probably go for the energy the average energy vibration levels. Oh, oh well, here we are. The average energy vibration levels of the all the land in the South Island of New Zealand is one hundred thousand or more. One hundred fifty thousand, one hundred and forty, one hundred and thirty thousand. So that's the average energy vibration levels that, of the of, land. Of the land. And, hmm? Of the land. Of the land. Yeah, that's the real. That's the actual. That's the actual energy vibration levels. 
because everything's got a, a vibration, everything. Sure, that picture awesome. behind me has got a vibration, these glasses, me, the, everything's got a, a, a vibration. That, yeah. Can you tell us what the unit of vibration is, Toby? Um, no, all I'm doing here with the, um, with that 30,000 one was setting a, a figure. Uh, it's it's not the actual levels like the actual levels of all the of the land like the land outside here or I mean in the South Island of New Zealand to me is one hundred and thirty thousand. So um, if you tried to if you worked through it yourself, you you might find it uh, yeah get the same. So there's two ways to look at it. There's that way or the way where you say that that's what it is. Um, because it's it's just like programming your um, pendulum to a, for a yes or a no, you know, to, um, but that's it's, you're it's programming just, into your pendulum the value that you are using in yes. your intent. Yes. Right. Yeah, and then I can go and say like uh, Heather's energy vibration levels is at one hundred thousand or more. 200,000 or more, uh, 150,000 or more, 140, 130, uh, 120. Yeah. So that's, to me, that's your your energy vibration level, 120,000. Whereas any any person, as long as they got to 30,000, I'm quite happy. So that just shows up the extra uh, energies that you have. Right. Hi, David. Mm -hmm. We've got a few uh, questions in the chat. Um, yeah. So I'm just going to have a look at. Um, so the, these techniques, can you apply them to self healing as well? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, a bit... Sorry. So, sorry. Uh, uh, can you tell us the angel story, please? Oh, yeah, right. Uh, that makes sense. Uh, um, I know a lady here and she's doing some healing and uh, I said oh, I'll check how many angels you've got so I checked them and she had 50 angels oh yeah and I checked the dragons too angels and dragons they're all good and uh, but anyway I checked the angels and uh, I, I know how many I knew how many I had but um, I said, uh, "Oh, do you want to do you want to borrow some?" I said, "This was a Monday, you see, and she was doing it through the. Oh, and it was a Saturday. No, it must have been a Friday. Sorry, I said, oh, I'll lend you, I'll lend you some angels till the next Friday.' And so, she said, oh, oh yeah. So, so I, I asked the divine spirit if I could do it for a start off, and. Yeah, yes, he said it was all right. So, so I, uh, I actually, I sent her five hundred, and and I just sent the five hundred to see. And I said, oh yeah. So, and then I said to her later on, I said, you know, if you treat them right, I probably won't see them back. And uh, and she, yeah, she took these five, and, and then she. With that, she ended up with about five hundred and sixty, and um, and anyway, come the Friday and after that, after the Friday, I thought oh, I'll just check to see if any she still got all these. You see, so yes, yeah, she still got them. And, oh yeah, that's all right. So so then that, just the other day, I decided to check my own, see what I had, and I'd actually. Um, just about doubled, you know, through the ones I had. I I, I had I lent her five hundred. Well, I I got fifteen hundred back. So out of the out of the universe. So I mean, it's you know, I mean, you put it out there, you lend it, help people, and it, it, that's just the way it's come back. So yeah, I was quite surprised that I thought oh, I'm short of five hundred, but no, it was. Uh, 
no, there's there's more come in. So whether whether they think now I might be a sort of a um, what do you call it, Airbnb or something for angels, or, and uh, you know just distribute them throughout the world, I don't know, but that's you know that that's what happened. So yeah. Oh, thank you for that. Yes. Um, sorry. What? 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 I may have missed it. But what? What? What sort of? What sort of prompted you to this sort of this line of work? What? What? How did you get started? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, well, I haven't really worked it out. I was, <laughs> yeah. Someone must have woke me up about two o'clock one morning and said, "This is what you were doing, boy." Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. so, so that's what. Yeah. I, I did I did the magnetic healing for a start off and then I thought oh yeah, yeah. Um, and you know that's to, that was to do with animals and stuff too I mean what we're talking about here we're, we're also talking about animals so, um, animals are more receptive to this than uh, humans because they don't they got no doubts in their mind as to whether it's going to work or not or where it's just stupid or what yeah do you use um your dowsing in your reiki work uh yes 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 yep yeah i'll do i'll do i'll go down a person's body like what i was doing with this here this uh um uh, go find out where the problem is first of all <clears throat> find out where the chakras are which chakra if any chakras need balanced and... yeah and then and i i find i do reiki probably a bit um i would say it would be quite you know that i'm taking the energies away all the time and that's what i learned with magnetic healing stuff Take the energies away and uh, clear the blockages. Hmm. Yeah. So, so I mean, you, what what's happening is you you there's some part of your meridians is blocking up, and then and that's that's what you got to release. And once you've done that, it's uh, um, you know let the and then it lets everything the energies flow through the body. Mm. Yeah, I think I think this you know this could be a, a way of keeping people healthy and to just do this work before you have to do it. So it's it's, it's uh, and it can be done, you know, quite simply. Really, it's uh, yeah. Well, because you can do it distantly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Can be. <laughs> yeah, distance, distance is nothing. Yeah, that's don't don't ever think that because they're so far away that it won't get there. It'll get there all right because it's your thought. Yes. Somebody well, like like you asked me to heal somebody else. Well, the connection is between me, you, and that person. So, yeah. so and that and that's how it, that's how it starts. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Or if you want. Want something checked, you know, like a house, someone's house checked, or your own house checked. Or, mm. Hi, David. May I ask you a question? Yes. Yeah. Um, I find sometimes if I'm over positive, I'm in a very good mood. I don't always get the right answer, and also if I'm in quite a stressed or negative mood, the same thing happens. Is there any advice you can give me on that? Um. I'd, I'd keep the positive mood. Yes. I'd try to get rid of the uh, the negative one. Yeah. Uh, well, you can. Oh. Um, Dose when you're stressed. What's yeah. your first name? Sorry, oh, I can't. I haven't got it. Yeah. Liz. Liz. It's Elizabeth. My name is Elizabeth. Liz. Yeah, Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Energy vibration levels thirty thousand or more. Oh yeah, forty thousand or more. Thirty-five. 34, 33. Yeah, yeah, your energy vibration levels are all wrong. Is your life force 100%? No, it's before 
Uh, there may be a past life thing here that needs to be cleared up. But uh, I mean, all I do is I just you now take Liz's life force from the past life when it was 100% through to the present day. We won't go and try to find out where it is. But it's interesting because I've had people, uh, I said, something happened when you were 10 years old. Uh, a big and, couple so I said something happened when you were 10 years old. No, not you. This is I'm talking about somebody else. Uh -huh. And uh, and uh, then I haven't, I don't even know this person, don't even know what she looks like. I never met her because it was through a friend that I did the healing. And yes, yeah, she'd, uh, her father had actually committed suicide and she was the first to find him when it was 10. So, you know, those energies are in the, in the system and they just got to be cleared because all the thing we are really looking for is the cause mm -hmm. once once we get the cause and deal with that everything's okay this is life forces at 100 percent yeah your life force is now 100 percent there's some issue there that's probably been in the background that you haven't known but yeah. from a past life yeah yeah and that's, uh, yeah, that's basically, uh, well, yeah, Liz's life force is at uh, 40,000 or more. See, I didn't even raise your energy vibration levels, but with releasing that in the background, you're now over 40,000. So, from you were 33? Yeah. Mm. And could you check her for like negative energies and entities and things? Could you show how to do that? Oh yes, entities. That that would be very helpful, actually. Bad entities, yes, absolutely. Just oh well, if, oh what well, does uh, Liz have any negative energies? Negative energies, entities, or non-beneficial spirits? Well, let's see. You got some non. Does Liz have any negative energies? Entities and non beneficial spirits. Now, this is in that Roman Grace book. Oh. This is what, yeah, this is, it shows you what what to do here. So, you've got, you've got, you've got non beneficial spirits, but non beneficial spirits are not like demons. Demons, I'll just do a demonstration after I've done this, but non beneficial spirits are just lost souls. All mm -hmm. right. Right, so please send all non-beneficial spirits over to the other side where they belong. Their friends and rel relations are waiting for them now. Please do that now. Send them over to the other side where they belong. Yeah. yeah. Does Liz have any negative energies? No. Entities? No, non-beneficial spirits. No. Well, they're gone. Thank you. Does Liz have any demons attached to her mind, her body, or soul? No, I didn't. Actually. Yeah. Um, demons is a a different story. With with a with a demon, you um, you does have does so many have, have so many demons? Say someone's got ten demons. And I don't, I don't touch the demons because they're the worst of the lot. And they come back. It's the divine spirit. That, and divine spirit, can you remove all these demonic forces from so and so? And if it says no, uh, then I say, all right, can you remove fifty percent? Uh, five, sorry, the ten of them. Can you remove five of the weakest? I said yes. So you remove five of the weakest, and this is in these. Roman Grace's book too. Uh, remove five of the weakest demons from so and so's mind, the body, the soul. Send them away. Lock them up. Scramble the frequencies so they don't return. And then you just ask, can you remove? So that's five gone out of the ten. So then you ask, can you remove three of the weakest demons? Yes. It says yes. So you. Remove three of the weakest demons, send them away, lock them up, scramble the frequencies so they don't return. So you do that. 
And then, then you say, there's two of them left. So you say, Divine Spirit, can you remove all demonic forces? You know there's two left, but just in case you missed up, can you remove all the demonic forces? And if it says no, then you've got to do the one and then the other one and then the other one. Remove all demonic forces with only one left. So remove all demonic forces from so-and-so's mind, the body, the soul. Lock them up, scramble the frequencies so they don't return. Do that now. And that's that's demons, negative energies, entities. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. But if you get if you get problems like you people can douse to how see how many's there. Yeah. And if you get a problem with it, just get hold of me or somebody who knows how to do it. You know, that's um, because if if you're just trying to do it and it and it you just do too much, um, then it'll uh, it, it it just makes them stronger on, on the person. So you really want to just take it easy and take just take just chip away at it. I mean, I've had seventy and one hundred and twenty demons on some people. So and you you just that's how you chip away at it. But you've got to make sure that the divine spirit can actually do his work. Ask him if he can do it. And if he if he can't make your water smaller, so instead of five, you might go down to three. Yeah. And until he says yes, I can remove them. Thank you. Because you have to allow the, the mental health of that person to adjust, don't you? Rather than taking oh. everything away at once, would that be too severe for them? Or? Oh no, I don't. I don't think so. I think it's. Uh, I think the relief is more the, the thing than. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Um, because I mean, the person's not going to get any better with them there anyway. So, um, I've never really thought about, you know, what I'd have to do if they, they went off the rails a bit, but. I don't. I, I can't see any reason why they would ever want to, because it, it's it's being they're actually being relieved of something that shouldn't be there. So. Um, yeah. So normally, uh, David, what we do, we record these talks and yeah. we put them on the uh, YouTube channel, the Jazz yeah. YouTube channel. Yes. So would it be okay to put your contact details on, on the yeah, video? Yes, yeah. yes, so for sure. So if you want to discuss things privately with you later, that's okay? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, Is that just uh, email me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've, somebody's got a hand up. Well, I've also got some, some questions in the chat. Um, so, I so, would like to know about yeah. uh, addictions. How would you go about addictions? Uh, well, one of the first things I look for is um, what's lacking in the body. Uh, might be a vitamin, mineral, or uh, you, you douse for that, and 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 start from there. Um, of course, I do what I've been through now, did the clearings and everything, because that's probably that's probably an issue. Um, the 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 girl I was talking about with the the father. When she was ten, um, I think she was drinking uh, a bottle of wine a day. And then, as soon as I'd done that, what I did, uh, she stopped altogether. Whether she still stopped now or not, I don't know. But um, I know that, yeah, she just just stopped because it, what there's something. See, what you're looking for is the cause. Or, or, Always look for the cause. So, uh, an addiction there's an there's a cause, and and just like everything else. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, a question from Denise: uh, Can we uh, self heal any past life negative energies? Uh, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. And just what you really want, all you got to do is just. 
put your pendulum. I mean, you're allowed to cheat with this thing. Like it's it's not cheating. It's what it is. It's just giving it direction to. So you um, this all you would do is say, bring my life my life force my past life force that was a hundred percent. Bring it forward to the present day. It's all you got to do, and then and see if that works. So, the, it, is my life force one hundred percent? That that's. I mean, you just practice this till you got it. Yeah, you know, to but just 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 bring it forward from a hundred percent when it was a hundred percent. But where it might even be in this life, or just bring it forward hundred percent to the present day. Yeah, the present and do it now. Can I just jump from there to turmeric again? And is turmeric a carrier of other things, or does it have inherent qualities itself? Oh, it has good qualities for it, like health qualities for itself. I mean, I have it with uh, uh, sometimes. Uh, what is it? Oh, cayenne pepper. Although um, I think black pepper is is better. Um, Black pepper goes with turmeric, not cayenne pepper. So, and I have olive oil, and I, it separates all the time. So, what I do is I um, mix it with um, ginger pickle that you know the pastes don't really get it. To, it's about two bob a pound at uh, um, Indian dairy, Indian you know health food shops and stuff. And mix that with it. That, that that's just to keep it constant. And then I, when I go past it, I grab it, have a bit of it occasionally. So, yeah, but the turmeric, this uh, turmeric, um, and I forget the name of the Indian earth. A ver it begins with V. Um, it's it's better than turmeric. But this holds the energies of the whatever you want it to whatever you put into it it'll hold it and as i say that's still held it and it's been year 18 months i suppose so that they've they've held it because you can tell like if if you if it's not held then, i mean you would find that you put that on the uh, on the combination um graph then it would load back in again but they're not loading back in again so what about what about using water in place of turmeric? Would that water? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't know whether water would hold it as long. Uh, <clears throat> um, probably, uh, but I, I was quite impressed with that. And the the copper granules that I, I thought, oh well, I'll use these instead of the turmeric. You see, and but what I found with the copper gran copper granules and uh, um, crystals. The copper granules, these would only go to about, say, two million, I think it was. And these these here are just infinite, really, the, the, the crystals. So, so what I'm thinking of doing now is using the crystals to get the, bring the energies through rather than the, than the copper or the turmeric. Well, we've got some very nice uh, positive comments uh, regarding your talk, so that's that's nice. Uh, let me just go. As um, as just before we wrap up, has, has anybody got any more questions they'd like to ask? Yes, I've got one, Nick. Ah, you're back. I'd I'd lost uh, lost Richard, but uh, go ahead. My computer did close down a couple of times, uh, so. I'll be looking at the, the video of the, um, uh, sorry, the recording uh, on the YouTube channel. Um, can I just ask um, the the information you sent out about the uh, the cancer, the healing? Does that apply to the recording, or is it just happening now with yourself? Well, you uh, just do it. Yeah, yeah. That, that's <clears throat> why I did that was to show that it's the command make make sure these things are commands i mean um i think god or whatever uh 
they or Jesus, he commanded this thing be done. Command that, like you sent out a command, and that's that's the reason I did that. But yes, by all means, use it. I mean, just turn it on and listen to it yourself. Yeah. Can I just ask uh, one very quick last question, please? Yes. Um, I've always been fascinated by dragons and actually uh, Dragon Year in Chinese as well. Um, and it does feel a particularly strong year this year coming. Um, I just wondered if you had any words on working with dragons alongside angels and healing. Um, I've sort of been aware of them in the background, but haven't actually brought them in at all. Um, do you have any words you can add to what you've said so far, please? Yeah, well, uh, dragons and... Uh angels you just, you just talk to them i mean you, you don't tell uh you don't just walk down the street talking to angels but i mean you just you, you just communicate with them and that they'll just grow and grow and grow and then then the thing is you'll find um if you douse but you uh yes probably dousing would be i mean i know i the head angel and the head dragon I know their names uh, and and that's something you could look for too is just see how many letters in their name douse to see how many letters in their name and then just ask you go halfway I don't know what's halfway of the alphabet M or something you go to halfway in the alphabet and you say is it M or higher which is Z is it between M and Z so and they say, uh, no, so you know it's the other way. So I said between, then you go half of those two. So you, what you're looking at, bring it right down to a, to a letter. And and you'll find that you'll get the name of the of the uh, dragon or the or the angel. And uh, I, I mean, I don't call them by name or anything. I think well, I, I'm mostly more talking about the divine spirit. So... Uh, to me, that's part of the, the whole system. So, yeah. That's brilliant and fascinating. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. Yeah, yeah. Just keep talking to them. Yeah. Um, that, they're all out there. This, this, they're all over the place. But they won't, they won't do anything for you unless you ask them. And that's the, that's the, the just the reality of it. Yeah. Are there any more questions? No. Okay, David, thank you very much for your talk. Oh, that's all right, yeah. On behalf of the BSD and everyone at the meeting, um, very well done. As Nick said, you've got a lot of um, lovely comments, and um, we'll send you the, uh, the chat. Uh, the yeah, no, very good. Yeah, no, I've enjoyed it, actually. Yeah. 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 And thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, this and yeah, yeah. Anybody yeah. wants to, anybody wants to find out anything, just yeah. And don't, just because you're on the other side of the world doesn't mean to say it can't be done. So. Mm. Mm. If you are enjoying the content on this channel, please consider supporting the work of the BSD, by making a donation through the link below. Thank you.